Are you confident with your karate punches? Check and see if you're doing these five basic points correctly. All right, so the first point is how you make your fist. If you can't do this correctly, you're gonna hurt yourself, so please make sure you get this right. So step one, open up your hand like this and close it from your pinky like this, okay? The most important point here is that there is no space right here. Some people do it like this, so close, okay? Make sure you close that. And then, even strengthen this um, combination of these fingers by closing it down with your thumb. Make sure the power is going down this way, okay? One checkpoint that you should have is whether there's a hole right here or not. If your fist is weak, that means there's an opening like this, okay? See how you can see me like this? So make sure you close this down like that to make a strong fist. Also, a common mistake is that your thumb is sticking out like this, okay? Make sure they're not sticking out, close this in. Point number two is the place you punch with. Uh, let me ask you a question. When you punch, which knuckles do you use? Or have you ever thought about which knuckles to use? The correct answer is these two knuckles. Make sure when you punch, you're directing the power through these two knuckles and not your pinky ones, okay? If, you, if your power is here, that means you're punching like this, but you want the punch to, be go, to go straight, so make sure you form something like this. Point number three is the aim of your punch. Uh, a lot of the mistakes are you punch in front of your shoulder at the level of your shoulder, However, you should aim for your solar plexus, which is right here, in between your, a little bit underneath your chest. So you have to, using these two knuckles, aim right here, and not here, 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 right here, okay? Always, when you practice, aim at the same spot. Point number four is the angle of your wrist. Uh, this is pretty important. When you, whenever you punch, don't angle your wrist down, okay? Or else you're gonna hurt this part. If your wrist is up, you're gonna hurt this part. So make sure this is straight, okay, when you punch. Always. So point number five is the position of your hikite. I've talked about this in a discussion that I did with the president of JKA Australia before about the tips of punching. But whenever you punch, so let's say you just punch it like this, right? The position of your hikite must be all the way here and not here, okay? It shouldn't be sticking out from your body. You should pull it all the way by paying attention to the muscle right here and shifting your shoulder blade together. So whenever you punch, make sure you fully pull back. Uh, imagine that I'm, I'm a pole, right? Just a pole and you're wrapping the string around like this. When you pull this string, then this string becomes shorter, right? Same mechanism here. If this string is long, then the other string is short, right? If I, if I pull this string, this side pulls back. So make sure always pull back fully. So those were the top five basics of how you should punch in a karate way. Make sure you get all these correctly or else you're gonna hurt yourself especially when you do Kihon basics. Practice this over and over and over. Uh, focus on one point at a time so that you can perfect each one of them. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel from up here. And for more karate tutorial videos, please check these out. And if you'd like to receive personal feedback from myself, then please consider subscribing to my online group lesson, which I hold every weekend. So I'll see you guys there.